Hello YouTube, Chester Boyer, and welcome to day eight of my 12 days of Go On Miss special. And today we'll take a look at Engine Jumbo Whale from Engine Sentai Go Onger. This is the ninth engine in the Go Onger line, and this can combine with Tor it can be combined with engines Tor Ripter and Jet Taras to make a new combination. So, so in the set, you got of course the engine soul for Jumbo Whale, and of course Engine Jumbo Whale himself. Um, now there's two ways you can get this thing. You can get this guy separately along with this, or you can get this in a in a set along with and engines Torriptor and Jetaros. So of course I got this guy separately. So so out of the way, let's take a look at the engine soul. Let's take a look at, let's take a look at the included engine soul. And you can see this is Jumbo Whale's engine soul. Of course we got number nine here, which is stylized to look like a whale, obviously. Um, of course we got ES for engine soul and nine. Of course, we've got the battery pack, which is, of course, watt, three watch batteries. And, of course, there's the engine block detailing on the back. So, of course, here's the activation noise. So, there you go. And that's that. Now we can bring in... Whoa, okay. Let's bring in engine jump well. And there he is. So, as you can see, his name, his name, Jump Whale, is a combination of Jumbo Jet and Whale. So, well, specifically, it's more of a cargo, a cargo jet. So, um, yeah, this guy is quite big. Um, that's why he's not fitting frame. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, here we go. All right. So, this guy, I mean, he's basically, of course, he's a whale, obviously. Um, nice detailing here, especially with the go we got the go on wings logo on the side, on the sides here. So. Uh, of course, we got the number nine right there, and yeah, and of course, the only thing you can do is you can open his mouth like that, so which looks a little weird, but this is how it is. Um, and now, in order to put the engine soul, basically, you take you push this lever down. And this will flip it open this this compartment, and you insert the engine soul like this. Get that closed in, and there you go. And then the engine soul's in there. So, <clears throat> um, it does come with two of these um, cargo pods, which you can store some things in there. Like you can store like, uh, like like extra pieces in here or something like that. But I believe in the series, this these carries the um, other mech, the other mecha. So if I can, remember, well, because hey, he's a cargo plane, so. Yep, so just like that. So now before we get to the sounds, this guy does have an alternate mode, which only lasts which only lasts for like like a few minutes in the series. So basically what you do is you take the front, turn this upside down, and yes, you can see there's Seikuo's head in there. Um, get that plugged in. And take this and take the tail and split it. And you plug them in. Like this, then twist the tail fins, and there you have the jet mode. So, which only lasts like for a few minutes, really, just yeah, just a few minutes. And of course, if you want to see the back. There's some detailing on the back here with the um, thrusters and stuff like that. So, so yeah. So let's go ahead and convert this back into its normal mode. That's lined up. There we go. And um, now I believe in Imperator's RPM, this is called the, just called the Whale Zord. Um, I'd really like to call this the Whale Car. I'd like to call this the Whale Cargo Zord. So, yeah. Now let's go right to the sounds. So, um, so you, there's actually two buttons here: one in the front, one in the back. So we'll, let's press the front one. So it said, Shokon, take off. Attention please. Attention, please. Now, by the way, he's got a... Now, Jumbo Whale has a personality of an aircraft captain, so he'll talk like one. So, like I said, attention, please, and take off. So, Mission start. Mission start. Says his name. It says Whale. And that cycles back. Now I'm going to press is the back one. So 
so well. Go on. So. All right, so let me zoom in a little bit. All right. Now what we're gonna do is press these two to get like a secret voice voice line. So. Not that one. Nope. And that's the secret voice line when he says Bon Voyage. So now I got that done. Now I take a look at the combination of the three, these three mechs. So, so we'll go ahead and take Torripter, go ahead and fold, fold in the uh, helicopter blades and take the tail fin and swing, swing around like this. And now you have the right arm. Take Jet Truss, fold these little wings in and remove this. And we're gonna slide this into the, slide to the front like that. There we go. That's the other arm. Now I'm gonna put these two to the side, so because this guy becomes everything else. So, so what we're gonna do is uh, actually don't remove the cargo pods. Okay, so split this in half, split this like that. And you're gonna flip up the wings like this, and we're gonna go ahead and fold them up one notch, and take the what was the front the whale head and put it onto the front like that, and then we'll take jet truss. Plug into this arm, then take Torruptor and plug into the other. Actually, I should have just left these split like this, but it doesn't really matter. But and there you go. There you have Seikuo, aka the Mach Megazord from Power Rangers RPM. So yeah, pretty sleek, pretty slender. I mean, because you know how the legs look. Um, well, yeah, not terrible. I mean, he's got. Which I, could, I should have pointed out for Engine Jumbo, he's got a, a very impressive wingspan. So just be aware if you want to put this gun on, on your shelf, make sure you got enough storage space or shelf space, I, I should say. So, yeah. So, yep. <coughs> so. so, yeah. There you go. Nice little quick 360. And, uh, yeah. Now, if you want to activate the sounds while in this in this configuration, you have to just hold fold down his mouth and then press the any one of the two buttons. So... I press the bottom one. So yeah, if you want to do that. So, all right. Now articulation, head doesn't move. Um, the arms can swing all the way around, and the arms doesn't don't, can't really twist that much. So yeah. Um, so yeah, that's much what what Seikoa could do on its own. Now we could do it with some other other arm configurations. Now there are some additional configurations for Seikuo, and these are canon. So you could do is you could take off Jet Truss and replace it with Gunford. So you could do Seikuo Gunford. Or you could do Seikuo Burka. If you wish. And of course you could do both. Um which now this one is not canon. So just the uh, just the separate arm configurations, so yeah. So let's put these two together real quick. Alright, that's that. So that concludes my Seikuo review. Um so overall Seikuo is very neat on his own, but he'll be more fun once we once we get to the comments between this guy along with Engino and Gunboro, which we'll take a look at that at that tomorrow. Um now, there's one more thing I forgot to point out that you can sort of recreate the bow and arrow attack. Um, basically, you just have to flip this up and then flip the, these little wing bits out. Um, this is the closest you're going to get, which actually turned like this. Yeah, this is much the closest you're going to get for, to his bow and arrow attack. Um, so, yeah, a little unfortunate, but oh well. So, <clears throat> just want to point that out real quick. <clears throat> So I do regret picking this up. Um, now, if you want to get if you want to get this guy complete, make sure he has these these um cargo pods up top, which are detachable. Make sure he has these along with these halves as well. Make sure they do have these because this is important for the next combination and especially the final one. 
So now the missiles um, that came with Jet Taurus, um, you don't have to get these. I mean, that's okay. If you miss them out, if you're missing them, that's okay. I mean, it's just for, you know, extra playability. And also along with this piece, because this piece is also important for the um, Enchino G, G9 combination and the final one. So, and G, well, G12, I should say. Um, um, and also, <clears throat> for, for Torriptor, make sure he has these helicopter blades and this piece. This is also important for G9 for the G9 and G12 combination. So, if you get these guys on eBay, Madarake, good luck. So, I mean, it's a good thing I got these all complete. So, which is, which is neat. So, yeah. <clears throat> that's all I guess. So, that's pretty much it for the review. Um, I, drive, I think I went a little too, too much. Um, so, tune in tomorrow. We're going to take a look at the Engino G9 combination. So, thank you for watching. Like what you saw, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon next to it. If you want to follow my Twitter slash X and like my Facebook page, links are down in the description. So, I'll catch you next time.